Well, a Hamlin University lecture showed a painting of the Prophet Muhammad. And after an outcry over the art history class by Muslim students, the adjunct professor lost her job. Fox 9's Rose Schmidt joining us now. And so, Rose, this is gaining national attention, and the university is standing by its decision. Well, Kelsey, the question here is whether it's considered inappropriate to show pictures of the Prophet Muhammad in class. For many Muslims, that's against their faith. But academics all over the country are asking how to discuss Islamic art. National headlines this weekend feature Hamlin University. The incident in question happened in an art history class last semester when an adjunct professor showed images of the Prophet Muhammad. The student newspaper, The Oracle, says the president of the Muslim Student Association was in the class at the time and shocked to see the images. So she brought her concerns to university leadership. Fox 9 has learned that the faculty member was supposed to teach this semester, but following that incident, the course was taken from her. Thousands of people have since argued against this decision. A change.org petition created by an expert in paintings of Muhammad, garnering thousands of signatures. The Oracle says the lecturer gave a content warning and described what the class would see for more than two minutes before showing the images. The professor also reportedly let students know ahead of time what would be shown and gave them time to sign off the online class. Professor Mark Berkson, the chair of Hamlin's Department of Religion, says he strongly disagrees with the decision to let her go. He tells Fox 9 there is value in showing images of Muhammad while teaching about religious traditions. And he feels the lecturer did everything she could to avoid violating her students' religious beliefs, including mentioning in the syllabus that the images would be shown. The university has released two statements publicly, saying first, our Muslim students, staff and faculty are hurting. The classroom incident is only one of several instances in which their religious beliefs have been challenged. And then the university's initial response and actions were to address our students' concerns. And contrary to what has been reported and become the story, it is important that this aspect be reported. University officials also say the lecturer was teaching for the first time at Hamlin and did finish out the end of the semester. Now, meanwhile, the Minnesota chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations tells me it plans to hold a press conference Wednesday with community leaders. Randy.